I tweeted this yesterday, and I know a lot of you know what I'm talking about. Go follow me on Twitter, Dapper Darius, by the way. But it's only been, now it's been 14. I tweeted yesterday, it's been 13 days since the last episode. But tell me it hasn't felt like it's been like a year. Like, how did we wait so long between season one and two? Like, I feel like I'm like a an Attack on Titan crackhead, you know? Like, I need my itch. I really do. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Attack on Titan, the final season, episode five. Now, the episode hasn't even come out yet. I tried to avoid Twitter completely today. I'm trying to avoid it, comments, everything at all. But Declaration, which I know is the title because it said it the last episode, Declaration of War, which is the title of this episode, is already trending. And the episode hasn't even come out yet. Like, I think this episode is going to be like one of those episodes, you know, like the My Hero, no spoilers, My Hero episode that went trending, the Demon Slayer episode that went trending. I know Black Clover just went trending, which I cannot wait to catch up to that. But like, it just shows you how much more mainstream and how many people anime, especially during quarantine in this COVID situation, can come together and just unite over something so amazing. And like, if you were like me who got bullied and like when you were young for like an anime, we stuck through this. We're in this together. This is awesome. Um, last episode, we ended off with Willie and Theo teaming up together. They're going to be bringing a whole new renowned balance with Marley, Eldia, the people, because Theo has some issues with Marley, not not with Marleyans as a people, but with their egotistical warmongering ways. They, he, he thinks they need to get a taste of war so they can stop trying to be as warmongering, whereas Willie, not necessarily him, but the Tibers themselves, the Tiber family, is the one who's secretly empowered and they gave marley this freedom and power to hopefully atone you know but since then they've just gone out of crazy too so he wants everything to be in balance which is gonna be all coming to a head during this festival which the festival just happened and then we have this theatrical play for all of the ambassadors from all around the world but that's like that's like big in and of itself but that's not even the big thing we have my boy falco grabbing reiner to meet up with Kruger, who we we all knew was Aaron, but that's just so insane. And yo, Reiner has been four years. That's just, oh my God, I cannot wait. I am so excited. I know you guys are excited. I've been talking for too long. I'm gonna throw my plugs and get into this. If you guys want the full length of this episode, make sure to check out that Patreon. It always is an option for you guys. Uh, other than that, if you guys want to support me and Patreon is not really an option for you guys or you guys not really your thing, if you guys could just leave a like and a nice comment to help push me out there to the YouTube algorithm, we need more members of the Dapper Squad. We need more of you guys over here. So I appreciate you guys oh so much for the support. Don't forget to follow me on all the social medias, like I said, Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch. Let's hop into this. <laughs> Tack on Titan, final season, episode five, Declaration of War. You know if there's a pre-warning, this program contains graphic content, adult themes, and violence that may not be suitable for some of you. Oh, like, you know shit's about to go down. Oh my lord. That's my face, pretty much all last episode. Of course, that's what he would tell Falco. Falco's just like, this is gonna be such a happy, good, fun moment. I mean, technically, they are old friends when you think about it. This this production quality is pretty damn top notch. They're really going all out. I mean, it makes sense. I'm also curious of his his head personal guard. He's like seven feet tall. Is this the lady that saved Udo? Which you guys were telling me is kind of like Oriental, Eastern, kind of like uh, Mikasa's mother. Yomi, which would make sense, you know, which was, I still love her for saving Udo. So he's saying if any, he's saying you, it's, it's in your best interest to negotiate and talk right now. You don't want to cause a havoc directly above us is so many important people. And he's already bleeding. He could transform at any moment. I can't, I want to know a heart, I want a heart rate monitor on Reiner right now. Reiner's mom? Is this Reiner's dad too? Oh no, this is someone else. This is Mr. Leonhart. Oh, Bertholdt's dad died in his sleep? Dang. 
This is Annie's dad. Leon Hart. How did I not catch that? Yeah, and she is alive. Wow. Okay. So many things are coming full circle right now. This is... Oh my god. This is the craziest time for Aaron to be right there. Why didn't it, why didn't it show that person's face? I think that should be pretty pretty simple. The theater the theater quality is pretty good actually. Wow. And if they're trying to set a tone slash, uh, they're doing uh, they're doing really well. <laughs> this is propaganda theater at its finest. This reminds me of, like Game of Thrones. This is this is really cool. Wow. <laughs> I really like the production quality of the, of this play. I won't lie. According to the stories, yeah. See, I don't know who this is under the helmet. Is that Armin? That's Armin. That has to be with the blonde hair. I thought it was Connie at first, but that has to be Armin. Oh my god, it's Armin. That would make sense. They're the ones who, like, I'm guessing were mounted in her guns and stuff. The Panzer unit. Makes sense that they have a cool relationship, stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, that only makes sense, you know? That's what I assumed. That was 100% army, though. I love it. I cannot wait. Oh my god, look at him. And he has the other titans in a... Sp in a s yep. Everything's working to plan so far. <laughs> Falco, you're not stupid. Falco was smart. I'm glad Falco is putting this together in his mind. I really am. So the story was all made up? Which is what I assumed. He was sick of the fighting, right? So he left of his own accord? Wow. Wow. Which was all like, I mean, yeah. He, he really just wanted the safety of his people. Which this isn't news to us, but this is news to all of them. Yeah. That's quite the that's quite the eye opener, especially because they're all considered devils, you know. That would be jaw opening to all these people, right? I'm so curious where this is gonna go. I'm so curious. Oh my god. They definitely broke all their limbs. That is true. A scrawny soldier. Scrawny. That's the word to use. He's a colossal man. Because <laughs> you have. I'm so curious, but they showed his personal guard again there. Ooh, wow. Yes, that is very true. Yeah, Reiner's like, oh shit, Falco, what did you do? Yeah, 
I feel so bad. Falco was such a good kid. But there's so many good kids that died in Eren's side too. You know, tis the cost of war, and I hate it. Oh my god, millions of colossal titans. Oh. I don't know if he's telling the truth. I assume he is. That's insane. Because we saw one in the wall, you know? That's what I'm saying. That's what this whole story is about, and I love it. You guys broke his wall. Oh my god, I love it. Right? You guys were his bad guys. Falco, now you're starting to get some clues. I was about to say, just like Reiner. It definitely fucks with your mental. Sure, they're jerks, but there are good people as well. If only you knew the extent. He almost committed suicide two episodes ago. But Aaron doesn't realize that's due to personal issues with family shit. That's deep, you know? It is 100% Reiner's fault, but it's like, it's full circle. It's crazy. He says, kill me, as it cuts to Willie saying, but I do not wish to die. This is so crazy. I love the music in the background as well. It's beautiful. <laughs> They're crying. Willie definitely has a way with words. He definitely is a very eloquent speaker. No doubt about that. I want you to join. I love the shots. I love it in this anime. It cuts to them shaking, you know? Are they actually gonna- are they actually gonna work together, though? Keep moving forward. That's what he kept saying. Fucking eight. There's no. I waited what felt like 10 years of my life to get blue balled that hard. Oh, you love it. You hate it. You love it. They, they set that up perfectly. So. I'm so, there's so much to talk about. There's, I'm so curious and confused on what's going to happen and what just went down. I love the the conversation that Aaron and Reiner had while Willie was giving this whole speech. You know, the, the callbacks, everything was just so intertwined between them. You know, this whole little recap history theatrical play that we had that went down that I thought in terms of production value was really well done especially with everything that they did you know but it's just i, I liked willie's strategy i'm like i want to know his plan i want to i need to know to be able to fully actually talk and discuss about it i need to know the full plan because i i personally don't think willie is the warhammer titan I, but because Aaron's about to munch on him, he broke his legs for sure. But like, I'm so I personally think it's his uh, his guard, his seven foot guard, because we've seen him in a couple of shots that they've, they've for not even being a named character and for him being like, I guarantee you the Warhammer is here and for only showing the family. I think it's his personal guard. That's my Detective Darius prediction of the episode. But so Willie's going to get eaten. Aaron, not, Aaron's not going to work out. 
I thought for sure Aaron and Reiner were going to actually be able to come to a decision like because he was like, I'm the same as you. Like we when you think about it, we live the same life. Let's work together. But he's so good at being I, I will keep moving forward to destroying my enemies. I, I love that. It, it works so well. I love how much in control he is. I, his, he looks so cool. I, oh my God. I am so, this re, I'm literally replaying that in my head. His eyes turn like super green. It, it, like he was holding like, oh my God. Reiner just tried to get Falco out of there. Just, it's just really good. I love uh, Reiner's mom, Karina, uh, something like that. I have it written down, but I have so many guys. I'm telling you, trying to go through these notes and trying to find stuff. The yellow is highlighted names, so uh, it's kind of hard. But I love how Reiner's mom went to go see Annie's dad, who Annie's dad, Mr. Leonhardt, still fully believes she is out there and because she promised to come back, which she is. And I think she does have a role to play, which I'm so curious as to what that's about. Because maybe now that we've been training for three years, maybe we did find a way to get through her crystal and we could eat the fuck out of her. Uh, that was 100% Armin which I love because I, I love his haircut. I remember when I first saw the promotional uh, fucking poster, I was like, is that my man Armin? He got a fucking haircut. I could tell that was him. And, and Peek said, I thought I've seen you before because definitely has during um, the whole wall, the whole Shiganshina ordeal retaking that. I just... It was definitely a smart plan on Willie's part. That's what I was talking about, how I'm not going to be able to discuss until I know the full plan. It was smart to say, hey, King Fritz, I know we've been talking about this forever. King Fritz, how he's the bad guy. He's actually not the bad guy. It was us and him who did this and the other. But things have changed now. That was back then. This is now. Fritz is no longer here. I'm the new Tiber. You all know me, love me together we can work to retake who was actually keeping peace now that we know he was keeping peace so i'm definitely curious who the warhammer is i, I assume it's the the tall guard which i'm i guess i cannot oh my he literally tossed up will that was literally perfectly planned his positioning how he's behind and beneath so many important people uh, i'm so curious this is a uh, there's so oh my god this is crazy army and peak what's gonna happen with peak and uh fucking pork uh what, what is his name again uh porco yeah it's, i'm so used to just calling him galliard um uh, what's going on with peak and porco to find out because there that was a really smart play by army to trap them in there so i just i really like that as well and falco was super smart in being able to put that together himself and realize which you know he has been used but he also got a little bit of a taste of like oh maybe it's not as cut and dry as i thought maybe it's a little more gray area because like why did my mom get eaten reiner was like it's my fault to kill me so he's seeing definitely the part of this you know it's like it's, it's it definitely is crazy it definitely is this was a fantastic episode this one literally like i know we've been building up for this part but this one was the ultimate like the, the penultimate build up like this one's like the this one's like the oh like it's dragon ball z you know what happened with frieza frieza just killed fucking krillin goku's about to turn super saiyan it just happened to said find out next time on dragon ball z and you're just like no fucking way that's literally how i have my balls i wish i could show you if it wasn't youtube if we were on pornhub i'd show you how blue my balls were it's it's crazy but this episode was absolutely fantastic i am so excited to hop into this next one um i love i love the subtleties with now knowing aaron's a titan how big of a threat that is how he had a little cut on his hand and he was like oh did you hurt yourself mr kruger yeah it's just a scratch no big deal whereas uh to reiner that's saying hey bitch i can transform at any time sit your ass down i just love that i love the subtleties but hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did i will see you next week it's gonna be a banger so many live shows coming out this week too we got reincarnated as a slime promised neverland dr stone all that i will see you guys this week peace out guys have a great day